So after this video, you're going to make the best beats for Travis Scott with epic outros. So let's get into it. So for this beat, I want to start with a guitar. You can find a lot of free guitar BSTs online, like this one, Dynamic Guitars. But I'm going to use this one that is from the new kit that I'm making. So now we can already lay down a melody. As you can see, I just laid down a minor chord. And when you're using guitar, it's really common to strum them in this way. Now we can add some bass notes. Let's try to pitch this to F sharp. So now we can go on scale lighting and set the scale to F sharp so we can see better the notes that we can use. Okay, I like that. Now this is really simple and uh, on top of this we can add a top melody. Okay, I like this melody and of course we're going to add a lot of effects on this to give to it that Travis Scott sound. This is a raw guitar so I don't have any effects on this. The first thing that I want to add is an EQ. Can cut some of the low end. The next thing that we can add is some reverb of course. Then we can add some delay. Okay, I really like that. The next thing that we can add is Patcher, and we can use the Humanizer preset. It's like having RC20, but this one is free. Then on the guitar, I like to add the Fruity Chorus. Okay, now we can add half time, and this is what is going to give to it that Travis Scott feeling. Here we can try to make the BPM higher, we can go at 143. I think I want to remove these uh, bass notes from here and we can paste them in these FL keys and then I'm going to use these bass notes with a piano. Yeah, that's fire. The next thing that I want to add is a flute. So I will go in my cryptic analog lab bank and I want to use the flute one. Okay, here we can find a catchy melody. Yeah, that's crazy. I haven't added my bass notes yet and I like to use the piano time for bass notes. Yeah, that's fire. Okay, the next thing that I want to add on this is a bell, of course. Yeah, the bell 11 is perfect. Yeah, that's fire. And I want to try to link this bell to the same mixer channel of the guitar. Let's try also to link the flute to it. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, let's try to render all these uh, three instruments together without the bass notes because I want to chop them in fruity slicer. Let's try to pitch this up. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Now I'm going to reverse some random slices to give more variation to this melody. Yeah, let's try to render this again. That's crazy, man. Now we want to add another melody on this to create some more variation that we can use for the beat. Because for now, the only variation that we can use is to pitch up and down the melody. Maybe another bell. We could add the alt time on this. Maybe some reverb. And to make it sound more like a texture, I want to add portal. Yeah, the wicked one is crazy. Yeah, it's adding some bounce to the melody. Now it's time to add a bass. Let's use this one from my Enigma Multigit. So we can just follow the progression that we made with the piano. Now we can add some slides, of course. Yeah, that's crazy. Now it's time to add some drums. But before, I wanted to tell you that uh, all the sounds that I use in this video are from the cryptic multi kit you already know. And if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Right now, the kit is at a really low price, but the discount is ending on January 3rd, so don't miss out. But now, let's get back into it. So, I like to start with a clap. We can use a normal clap for this beat. Then we can add some hi-hats. Okay, now we can use that trick. We can lower the velocity of the second hi-hat. So it's going to sound more human. And we can just copy this over. Yeah, you see that bounce. I just want to add a roll before this clap here. And at the end, we can make something like this. Now we can click alt R to randomize the pan and the velocity. Of course we can add a hat to create some more bounce. As always I like to add it before the clap. I want to add the snare so let's use this one. That's bouncy. Yeah, that's crazy. At the end, we can add the roll. We can go to you, can chop the notes. Yeah, that's crazy. Now we can add also a kick. And I want to use this uh, rack from the new kit that I'm making. I want to use this uh, new 808 called the future. Woo! Wait, let's copy the kick pattern into this one. But I think this at weight is too long, so I'm just going to move this knob a little bit. That's crazy, man. We can take out also the 808 and bring back the bass. Now 
then we can just copy this over and now we can bake the outro so when you're making the outro you don't really need to follow the same progression that you used in your beat i like to start with a pad and i really like to use this preset from analog lab and the, here you want to find some chords that are going to have that outro feeling to help you do that you can just bring up the middle note of the chords one octaves it's already an outro man Ooh. Whoa, that's crazy, man. Here we can go down. That's fire. The next thing that you want to add is a perk loop. To make one, you can just uh, render all the drums that you made except from the 808. And now we can add some effects on them. Like, for example, we could add that time, some reverb. And now an EQ to filter them. The next thing that we can add of course is a lead so i'm just going to use the lead one from analog lab bank and i'm just going to improvise something with my keyboard played it in a bad way but we can fix this here just copy it over the same melody and now i'm lowering the velocity and it's sounding crazy Now what I like to do is just to copy the bass notes of these chords and we can paste them into a piano. But here I just want to bring this pattern a little bit further so we can have some notes that are introducing this melody. I was forgetting about the bass. Also here I'm just going to copy the same bass notes. I think this could be it you can add some other textures and make it even better but that's the strategy that i use to make these outros So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it remember to drop a sub, like and comment, see ya!